गाइस वेलकम बैक टू फूड टेक जर्नी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टॉक्सिन्स फ्रॉम माइक्रोब्स हियर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिम्टम्स एंड प्रिवेंशन फ्रॉम दीज माइक्रोब्स एंड टॉक्सिन्स एज वेल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट about inlets from toxins there are basically three inlets which are caused due to these microorganisms which includes food poisoning food intoxication and food infection let's discuss about them one by one in detail food poisoning is caused by injection of toxins as well as microorganisms which results in the infection of intestinal tract in human beings so food poisoning is the illness which is caused due to toxins as well as microorganism understood while food intoxication is caused by the consumption of microbial toxin formed in food as you have seen that food poisoning is caused by injection of toxins as well as microorganisms which results in the infection while food intoxication is caused by the consumption of the microbial toxin which is formed inside the food another is food infection it is caused by the entry of microbes into the body through injection of contaminated food i hope the difference between these three terms is clear so you must have a basic idea of toxins that these are chemical substances which are produced by microorganisms like bacteria fungi molds spores etc which disables our immune system right so firstly we will discuss about classification of these toxins on basis of site of action and on basis of production so on basis of site of action first is neurotoxin then cytotoxin and enterotoxin neurotoxin these toxin affect the nerve impulses by cytotoxin these toxin affect the host cells by enzymatic attack and enterotoxin these toxin affect the gastrointestinal tract in abnormal way that is causing many diseases while on basis of production we have endotoxin and exotoxin endotoxin it is produced inside the cell while exotoxin it is secreted outside outside the cell understood now we will discuss about bacterial toxin bacterial toxins manipulates the host cells to favor microbial infection and growth inside the body first is botulism it is uh, it occurs in canned food products and the microorganism causing botulism is clostridium botulism it occurs in canned food it is uh, caused due to improper processing and improper heat treatment in food products botulism is a disease which is caused by food containing neurotoxin which is produced by clostridium botulism it usually occurs in food uh, in products which undergoes improper processing or improper heat treatment clostridium botulism is an anaerobic gram positive spore and rod shaped bacteria as you know that bacteria are of various shapes so botulism is rod shaped bacteria it mostly occurs in soils and fresh water now there are six types of botulism type a type b type c type d type e and type f so uh, there are three gro groups in which these six are divided group 1 includes type a type b and type f these are mesophilic like uh, they are they can grow in at room temperature 
Group two includes type E. This is group two. So uh, these are the cyclotropic one. While group three it includes C and D. So effects caused by botulism are nausea, vomiting, neurological symptoms like double vision, dilated pupil, or difficulty in swal uh, swallowing, and uh, some. Uh, if it is serious, then it may also cause muscle paralysis. Prevention from botulism include proper heating of canned foods and proper storage of canned foods and rejection of soil in cans or the cans with dent. Suspected uh, foods should be properly boiled before packaging. These all are the preventions. Next we have Staphylococcal gastroenteritis. It is caused by Staphylococcus aureus. It's a Staphylococcal gastroenterites is caused by the injection of enterotoxins. As I told you that enterotoxins uh, shows effects in the gastrointestinal tract. So it is a gram positive facultative anaerobic bacteria that is it is facultative that is uh, it can grow in presence of oxygen and in absence of oxygen also so it can grow anywhere uh, it can it mainly grows at se between 7 to 48 degrees celsius temperature as obvious produces Six types of toxins type A, B, C1, C2, D, and E, uh, which uh, grows at uh, different temperatures but between 7 to 48 degrees Celsius. Effects caused by S aureus include nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, sweating, and ready stools. These, these all are the effects caused by S aureus. Uh, the prevention includes proper heating and proper processing of the food products as you know that mostly uh, bacteria gets inactivated and also get killed at high temperature so proper heating proper processing and properly packaging is must next is salmonellosis it is caused by salmonella salmonella is a gram negative non-sporing bacteria these are pathogenic for humans and animals these are present in intestinal tracts in our body and uh, like birds reptiles and insects also the optimum temperature for growth is 37 degrees celsius but it can grow around uh, 32 to 37 uh, 39 degrees celsius also this one is the optimum temperature Effects caused by salmonellosis include tiredness, chills, fever, loss of appetite, and diarrhea. And prevention proper pasteurization of foods that is, heating of food at certain temperature. It can be HTST or LTST. Or we can keep food preparation areas clean so that. There is no contamination in food products. Next is Clostridium perfringens. It is caused by Clostridium perfringens. It is gram positive, rod shaped, anaerobic, spore forming, pathogenic bacteria and main, uh, main sources which causes this bacteria, this toxin are meat and poultry products. This product, uh, the microorganism can grow between 43 to 47 degrees Celsius temperature. This one is the optimum temperature for Clostridium perfringens. The microorganism produces an enterotoxin. So this also occurs in gastrointestinal tract. What it does, uh, it causes accumulation of fluid in intestinal humans. It also causes 
स्टमक क्रैम्स डिहाइड्रेशन एंड डायरिया प्रिवेंशन इंक्लूड्स गुड पर्सनल हाइजीन एंड प्रॉपर हीटिंग ऑफ फूड प्रोडक्ट्स रीहीटिंग लेफ्ट ओवर फूड्स विच वी कंज्यूम्स लेटर ऑल्सो प्रिवेंट्स फ्रॉम क्लोस्ट्रीडियम परफ्रेंजेस नेक्स्ट वी हैव शिगेलॉसिस इट इज कॉज बाय शिगेला विच इज ग्राम नेगेटिव नॉन मोटाइल स्पोर फॉर्मिंग बैक्टीरिया इट इज ऑल्सो फैकल्चेटिव एनारोबिक दैट इज इट कैन ऑल्सो ग्रो एनी वे बट इट्स मेन सोर्सेस आर वॉटर वॉटर बॉडीज द टेम्परेचर फॉर ग्रोथ ऑफ शिगेला इज अराउंड टेन टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एज आई टोल्ड यू इट इज फैकल्टेटिव एनारोबिक सो इट कैन इट कैन ऑल्सो Uh, occur between 10 to 45 degree Celsius with oxygen or without oxygen. It doesn't require any specific condition. Now we will discuss about the effects of shigel effects of shigellosis. Effects include diarrhea, stomach pain, and fever. While prevention, it includes self hygiene and staying away from affected people as Uh, social distancing prevents mostly diseases now we will discuss about fungi toxins firstly we have discussed about bacterial toxins and we have discussed about some types of toxins it produces now fungi toxins as the name suggests it is mutagenic carcinogenic and it produces mycotoxins there we discussed about endotoxins and many other endotoxins neurotoxin cytotoxin and exotoxin also here only mycotoxin as it is mutagenic and carcinogenic in nature that is it is very hazardous for health so mycotoxin are produced during the end of exponential phase of growth you must have heard about thermal growth kinetics of the bacteria so the mycotoxins are produced during the end of exponential phase of growth it is also called as toxic secondary metabolite it is produced by molds mycotoxin symptoms include chronic fatigue rashes depression cancer and neurological disorders also it can be controlled by prevention of mold growth in crop and post harvest harvest storage and proper handling of food commodity and detoxification of commodity using uh, sources like ammonia so these all are the ways to control mycotoxin and these are the symptoms there are various types of uh, mycotoxins which you should uh, know First is aflatoxin, salicylic acid, patulin, alternaria toxin, mushroom toxin, citronin, fumonisins, okra toxin, zearalanone, and stearic metocystin. These are the types of mycotoxins which you should uh, remember, as these are very hazardous for health. Here we are. Uh, here I have an assignment for you. That which gram-negative microorganisms causes plant? It's a little homework for you guys. So do answer the uh, do answer the question in the comment section, and also let me know if you have any doubts in this topic. I will be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching the video. ask in the youtube comment section or you can ask on our instagram handle food tech journey or you can mail us on food tech journey at gmail.com keep following us guys keep like uh, do like subscribe and comment our videos and uh, help us in growing and reach the ones in need thank you so much